Peter Zabanski, in her own words, on A Current Affair a little earlier tonight. Everyone took that as an opportunity to have a crack at her appearance. And, and I guess, in a sense, you were making a comment about it, her appearance because you were saying, you know, normally she's had her hair done and she's had her makeup done and she didn't look like that was the case in this photograph. And the pile on on Jenny Morrison's appearance as a result of that photograph was, was pretty ugly, wasn't it? That's why I said immediately afterwards, I was not, or very soon afterwards, I wasn't making a comment about her appearance. I think, um, uh, you know, doing a media pile on about people's appearance is, is you know, not something that I would condone. Um, and that's why I very quickly, um, or, you know, reasonably quickly, said that's not what this is. I'm just saying this is a really inept PR photo. And then it developed into this whole other thing. So do I think that um, um, a pylon um, of Jerry Mor uh, Jenny Morrison about her appearance is appropriate? Absolutely not. But do I think it is legitimate to criticise her or have a critique of her? Yes, I do. All right, some quick hot takes. Let's start with you, Jenna. Your thoughts on that appearance tonight? Uh, I just I found the whole thing completely confusing. I mean, I, I love Magda and I love what she did for the marriage equality bill and what she did during COVID for the people of Victoria. But I found even the initial tweet was so confusing. Blind Freddy could see that she was basically just watching her husband sign a condolence book for the Duke of Edinburgh's death. Like, that wasn't a big deal. And the fact that this is the reason why we can't move forward as a sisterhood or feminism when we stall, because we get caught up in these bullshit arguments about who would look like someone look like something different on Twitter. Like, who cares? This is not an issue. Move forward, get over it, leave Mrs Morrison out of it and let's get, o get on with the actual, you know, destabilising the patriarchy and making sure that there is gender equality for everyone, not just for, you know, the 1% like Magda. Oh, you thought you were about to lose your sisterhood badge, but you got <laughs> it back there again. Uh, all right, yeah. Joe, your, uh, your take... Yeah, well, I would simply say that one woman's critique is another woman's pile on. Um, Magda is a nice person, but she yeah. um, she's in over her, and she's she's a social media crusader. She's a social media activist. She should know that when she tweets something like that, it will create a pile on. And and she probably just sort of should have said, you know, look, I made I made a bit of a bad joke. I didn't mean for her to to, to get you know, to get thumped for it or to get uh, trolled for it and, and left it at that, trying to sort of create some kind of political narrative about what is and isn't acceptable, uh, you know, is, is absolutely absurd. I mean, clearly, clearly Jenny Morrison has been made a victim of the same thing that, that Magda often complains about being made a victim of. Mm. And I think it's pretty ugly in both cases. What do you think, Stephen? Yeah, look, I think she should have just cut a loss and said, it was a dumb tweet, uh, I apologise. Uh, and just moved on. Uh, the dumb tweet. Nothing good uh, happens on Twitter, mate. <laughs> nowhere to go. No, no, not able to be defended. Yeah. Should have just, should have just cut our losses. Yep. James. Yeah. Oh, not much more to say on that, except you know, clean up aisle nine, but they still need a mop. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. for that, that I think was so just... much coverage in the nine papers. About this. Oh yeah, so tons, tons coverage. of it. But but it is, it is really something that somebody like uh, Magda Zhivansky, who has been the victim of you know a lot of pretty unpleasant stuff Absolutely. on Twitter and stuff, and as I said, you know, if you yeah. would not have, would not have the self awareness. And I'm just thinking back to you know when uh, when she was copying a lot of it during the uh, uh, stuff around uh, gay marriage and Israel Falau and all that. Mm. Izzy Falau said. Uh, you know, yep. everybody lay off Magda. This isn't the nice thing to do. This isn't the Christian thing to do. And, you know, maybe there's something to learn from that. Good idea from uh, somebody here on, uh, um, I think Noel has suggested on our Facebook page that she's about to host the weakest link on Channel 9. Perhaps it should be the wokest link. <laughs> and we'll see what happens with that. Because that always works for businesses, right?